Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back to some E4. We're playing as the Oirit, and this is the time we're going to form Grade 1, okay? We're going to do it. We're going to form Grade 1. The Vun Empire's nomadic fears. Okay? There have been disconnected murmurings among Wong Empire subjects that ability to deal with the threat present. Oh, he took the mandate. Yes, he took the mandate. Because... I look at all those previous empires. Because I have them full annexed. So, they're going to die. I don't have to kill Ming. Ha! I don't have to kill Ming. I don't have to kill Ming. That's crazy. I was certain I'd have to kill Ming. All right, that's good to me. Um, who's the one with the lack of siege pips? Great, go up there. Oh nope, sorry, never mind. I need you here so I can get the damn thing. Yeah, one less war. Here you go. Go up north. That is one less war. It means I can take this pretty much now. Though with the exception, of course, that I do need some stability. If I can stay in this war for a little bit longer, I can try and get two stab. Because I do need I need two stab to be able to get this. Yeah, to kill Emperor, be at peace, and have two stab. Okay, cool. Oh, my friend, you made a bad choice. Oh, and boom. <laughs> Stack wipe. Okay. All right, then. Great stuff. Oh, that's just sad, isn't it? Okay. If you did you complete the mission for conquest in China, they give you a stab. Almost certainly I did, yeah. I can get um, Horde Unity in tradition, but I, no, I, I did everything that gets me... Like, you know, the Mongols and reforge Great Huan. Ah. Ah, uh, man. Ah, at least 40 provinces own in Xenan and South China, and I get a stab for free. Hey, all right. Is there no way to know how many I have? Xenan and South China. There's no counters. All right, regions. So, all right, let's do some counting. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five at least. <laughs> let's do this counting. Six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. I need five more. If I take all of Wu, I will have four more. Okay. A little bit of AE, but very doable. So I basically just need to take them as well. So I just need, as soon as I annex both of them, I will get one stab for free. Oh yes. That will be nice. Come on. Time to die. <laughs> oh my god. Take Macau from... No, it's... Where's Macau? Macau? Oh, there's also Macau! Oh yeah! Look at that. Didn't even realize. Cool. <laughs> I mean, they'll make things a little bit easier. Yeah, in pirate heaven, no one cares. Nobody cares. Alright, let's go. So basically, I'll just full annex all of these guys and then burn them all to death. Easy. And I'm making a teeny tiny bit of money. And there's a bunch of cores all done, which means I can go immediate boost. One, with one stab because I'm going to get another one and then I will be able to forge Great Huan after this war. That'll be incredible. I will raise all of it so I don't have to deal with the AE. I already raised stab, yeah, but I don't want to do two because I get one for free from the mission. 
Oh, baby. Oh, I just got the extra attrition tick there. Nice. They just sacrifices. Ah, oh, stab cost modifier. Dude, I could have made that so much cheaper. Anakin the Von Empire. Yep. Oh, hurry up. Hey, there it is. And there it is. So obviously I can't take all that. 60, so that's 68. And taking this. Perfect. I need to be stabbed 2 to take it. That's fine. I'm already stabbed 1. To do that mission, I literally just have to have 4 things and I get 2 stab. And I only need to be 2 stab to be able to do this. So, boom. First of all, we'll, set, we'll do these guys. Uh, that will cause... A coalition that no one cares about. To piss off. Thanks for the cash. And now I will raise it. Oh yes. I mean that's actually quite nice because it's a natural harbor so I won't raise that. That's incense. That's China. Okay so that is Canton. And that is amazingly good. It does bring trade up, so I kind of intend to not do, but I kind of do need to raise it at least a little bit. Just a little bit. Boop. That's that, that, hel that helps a lot with the problems that I'm going to deal with. Great. Oh, I also need to be getting more claims. Hooray. And some in Uzbek. And there it is, guys. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my god, are you ready? Revoke cores? Nah, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Let's go. Kill them all. Take all the money. Okay, we'll take at least a little bit of money. We have to full annex them. End of the Vuna Empire. Yes. With the fall of the Hangzhou, the last remnants of the Empire of China have been crushed. The Mandate of Heaven and the ancient Confucian administration have clearly seen as defunct concepts, and the scholar and gentry as a class will have to evolve into something else or perish. Though the memory of the Empire will live on for some time, the Kaganate of Oyer will forever be remembered as the destroyers of the last Emperor. Love it. That, my friends. Here we go. Restore order over China. Under the One Dynasty, the Mongols ruled all of China. Strive for that same goal. Reform Great One. Oh my god, I'm ready. Okay, I want to make sure this does not kill my mission tree. So unite Mongols, restore rule over steppes, and Pax Mongolica. Here we go. The heirs of the Kublai Khan once ruled over all Chinese and Mongol lands. Let us rise to reclaim the legacy of the Old One and crush the weaker lineages that have attempted to claim the Empire that is our birthright. Yes! I move the capital moves to Beijing. Base tax and base production manpower. Oh man, that's so good. Uh, come to Papa. I'm gonna put a little bit of dev in there. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. Do it! Oh, yes! Great Juan. New traditions and ambitions. Okay. Still the same. Still the exact same missions. But our ideas are different. We now have cavalry combat ability 20%. National manpower modifier 25%. And core creation cost has been moved over to Daisy Van Du. 10% morale. Tech cost reduction is going to go down soon. Shock damage. Oh my god, that is so good. Oh, that's good. Okay. That fixes me so much. Did I just get claims? I just got claims on Manchuria. Oh, I got claims on Manchuria. Oh, that's good. So I am still 104% here over here. So I do need to find a couple to raid. So I'm tempted to not do that to that because it's so good. I'll do it to that. That can't be that much now, right? 
Really wish that would that would that would refresh a bit faster. <laughs> All right, let's just let's just add it up. For God's sake, 48, 58, 62, 73, 84. 84 plus 15 is 99. Perfect. You have to destroy Japan now. They're too close to your color. I want to stop raising as much because I would like to try and have at least some useful territory. 99%. Oh, yeah. We did it. That is awesome. Does anyone want to be... <laughs> Does anyone want to be my boy? Yes, so many people want to be my boys. Tributaries for days. Okay, I'd be fine with a little bit of tributaries. Um, the thing is, is that I have permanent claims on all of these. So I'm not so interested in doing that. And again, the problem is, is that for this mission... That give me so I actually yeah I need to get Korea, and then I get lots of Japanese claims. Um, to get Tibet. Ah, I don't actually need Dali. I don't actually need Dali. I just need Kang and all that. But I'm t but I still kind of want to eat it. To be honest though, there's not a lot I really want. Thank you for the follow that's name. Really appreciate that. There's not a huge amount there that I want. It does gives give me access more to the south, but I'd rather. No, you know what? I'll just keep it open because then I can conquer them a bit later. But that is it, guys. We did it. Oh my god. That's so good. That doesn't, don't worry. The series is not ending here. We're going to keep going. This is now our main zone. Now we need to work on increasing our income. Because we own Beijing like crazy. We own this. That should help our income out a little bit. Obviously, the interest is a big problem. Port maintenance is another one. I only had the one merchant, dude. I've already rearranged it. I only had the one. I think I can start getting rid of some forts, though. Because I really do only need so many freaking forts. Where are the rest of my forts? Ah, oh, good. Okay. We are still losing money. And we ended with 8 loans out of a possible 19. That is amazing. So good. Okay. And Yerin is my tributary. Ah, Udeji. And Dong Oh. There we go. Guaranteed the defense of me. No. Um, we're really going to start returning cores to Dong Hai. As quickly as we can. Truce of Yerin is over. Yeah, we're just going to now start just gobbling up Donghai and Udeji. And they actually will call in Korea. Which means I get to eat Korea. I am fine with this development. I'm fine with this indeed. Uh, oh, I do have two mutants. You're right. Where's the other merchant? Where is my other merchant? Hey. Oh, he's there. Oh my god. What is he doing there? Wait, how much can I make here? If I go 1038, if I if I add someone, it goes to 1138. Ah, oh, the coalition, damn. Or if I go there. It goes to 1066. That's not great. Oh, that should be more, should be more. Ming is into a coalition. 1067 still. Oh, lame. Lame. It's not very much. Because it's in Beijing, so... Oh, what? Oh, it's because I cancelled that one. Whoops, that's why. There we are. I'm sorry, I misclicked it. So that goes to 1231. That's 1231. It's because I misclicked. Let's go there. If I have collect trade in from there, how much is it? It's not much. So it's better to do it from there because it's 1231 from here. What if I transfer trade here? I transfer trade power. 
Only 1082. Okay, right, let me go transfer train power from that. Yeah, 1246. So I now make 1246 just from trade, which is amazing. I actually have a positive income. This is the first time the entire game I've had positive income. Oh. <laughs> the actual whole time. Now, of course, I can't rest on my laurels. Um, I need to start doing things. Korea. I probably should have declared we're going to Korea a little bit earlier. And they will call in a fair amount of people. But we can kill, like, Ming and... And... Ah, because it's separate partners. Damn. That's going to slow me down. But I think I'm just going to have to get rid of Ming pretty quick. I'll call in Korea. So let's just go on Donghai next. And beat them up. And return a bunch of cores. Nice. And take money as well. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Unfortunately, I'm going to have to immediately raise maintenance again, but I had money for a little while. And that ain't bad. Oh, they're actually likely to declare a coalition on me. So very quickly, declare war on... Uh, for... Alchuka, Ferdinand, or Ninguta. Let's go Ninguta. They will call in people, but I don't care. Yeah, so let's make sure they don't join that, basically. Oh, I'm not a fan of this color, i got to be honest. But So good. Give me that little bit of unity. Give it to me! With that coalition. We have a small chance of rebels, but oh my god, we've basically fixed the world. Price of tea has just increased. Ooh, and incense. I own a bit of tea. And incense has gone up as well. It's not actually much, but oh well. Where is PDX going next week? It's in Berlin, my friends. Oh wow, there's they don't they don't have any soldiers, do they? Okay. They really don't. Okay. Now off you go. Construction cost. Ah, lame. All right, that's looking awesome. Uh, let's go beat up the Donghaiins over there. Beautiful. And we'll send this stack with the Tsin Shinil to the capital. Oh, where are you going? Where is you going? Nice. They will do some multiplayer games, yes. There will be many multiplayer games. I'm actually going to be playing in a Stellaris game. Uh, during the convention and I'm I'm part of the media day so there'll be I'm sure a multitude of things for me to do Whoops a daisy Cool All right Looking awesome guys, I think I've just pretty much stack what oh, I haven't stacked weapons. There's still a few soldiers here and there Start getting some small little siege stacks everywhere. Good. Oh yeah. And now let's just go chase them down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, we can purchase a new ability, which is awesome. Um, let's go institution spread in true faith provinces. That's going to really help, I think. So actually, why is an accepted culture? We need to try and convert Confucian, but oh well. That's going to help spread it at least somewhat, I suppose. Casual 12 production. Yeah, I know. The Limchat incident. A tributary mission is more than a journey to pay respect to the overlord. It's also an opportunity for trade. Seeking to capitalize on it seems competing noble houses in Divide have taken up the habit of spending their own tributary missions to us. Let me represent the Queen region in order to gain advantages. Tell you such missions arrive at the same time. Restrict trade, gain admin, or gain diplo. I will take the admin. Thank you. I couldn't give two goddamn licks about this country. Just not even two licks. Of all the licks I can give, nope. Not even one. And now I'm just running around getting sieges. 
I have indeed already set confusion as my syncretic faith. I have not set confusion as my syncretic faith. I thought I had. That's weird. Crap. Really wish I'd done that. That would have saved me a low stab and admin points. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was so certain I had. Oh, and Chakti- Oh, Chakti's still up north! What? What's happened up there? How is Chakti in the north? I didn't even realize they had that. Damn. Okay. You suck. These claims uh, exist forever. I do need to start now making a move further west, like a lot further west, and very quickly. Let's go. Hello. I'm here to destroy you. Don't worry about me. Yay, destruction. And I'm getting lots of Horde Unity as well, which is really nice. I'm also saving this mission here because it gives me 25 Horde Unity. I'm saving it for if I ever need a little burst of Horde Unity, for, for whatever reason. I mean, I feel like it's kind of likely. Formula One Globular? Absolutely, that's the goal, yeah. I'm really glad I did because it's a lot of fun. I am finding it quite enjoyable, let me tell you. Get over there. I don't have even access to Jin Zhao, what the hell? You Darren, hey, okay, so what can you do? You're going to return all of these cores to Jin Zhao. Isn't that nice? What? There are no war allies that you could give control to. What? They haven't even joined the war. Uh, what? They haven't been called into the war. Wow! I put Scottage on. You stupid. I put Scottage on so I can't even give them the provinces. I'm annoyed with myself now. Take a bunch, bunch of money. And we'll take war reps as well. They get stuff to Jin Zhao, we get a bunch of money, we get a bunch of cash, and we just speed things along. That's fine. I don't really want to take too much for myself, although I do have some very nice claims. There's only so much I actually want. And it also does cost Diplo power to take anything, so I don't want to waste it. So let's just do that. Return that and we'll beat them up in another war. I will lose claims on those things, but I don't care. Perfect. I can also make them end their rivalry with Uchde, but I already get I already have a ton of prestige, so I don't care. Bye-bye. Beautiful. Okay, and then next up as well, I am going to set my faith to Confucian. Cannot believe I hadn't done that already. Perfect. Look at that massive mount. It's beautiful. And that's it for the episode, guys. Do be sure to leave a like and a comment if you get Ugh. like and a comment if you get. Let me think of this series so far. I know to my future self, start conquering West, start conquering Ming, and then Korea to break coalitions, and just keep going West and start going mental and ravaging people and never stop being at war. Bye bye.